Thank you, Ardian News. Senators grill Janet Yellen on Republican plans to neuter Dodd-Frank Act. Dueling senators turned the Federal Reserve Chairwoman's first testimony before Congress since the election of Donald Trump into a row over Republican plans to defang Dodd-Frank, the financial regulation brought in after the Great Recession. Senator Elizabeth Warren, the Democrat emerging as Trump's leading critic, quizzed Janet Yellen on Trump's claims that Dodd-Frank was a disaster and on his plans to dismantle it. Warren quoted Trump's claim that friends of mine, who have nice businesses, can't borrow money. The senator asked Yellen whether it was true that banks were not lending as a result of the legislation, brought in to curb risky lending after the financial crisis. On Tuesday Warren also sent letters to the White House, Department of Labor and Financial Services Roundtable to ask what role, if any, banking industry lobbyists had played in the development and drafting of Trump's recent executive orders on financial regulation. Yellen said growth in lending was robust and that commercial and industrial loans were up 75 percent since 2010. We have seen growth in active lending in the economy, said Yellen. Warren said Trump's economic adviser, Gary Cohn, and Treasury Secretary, Steve Nookin, who she said had spent a combined 42 years at Goldman Sachs, had both claimed that banks had been held back by the regulation. In fact our banks have thrived since we passed Dodd-Frank, she said. Warren asked for a Wall Street Journal article on the record profits being recorded by Wall Street banks to be entered into the record of the day's hearing. Yellen agreed that the banks were profitable and in a better financial position than many of their foreign competitors. I don't have all the facts at my fingertips, I believe our banks are more profitable, she said. The Republican Senator Tom Tillis said Dodd-Frank had undermined lending to small business. We have completely destroyed the lower foundations of the banking ecosystem, he said. Yellen agreed that some regulations were holding back some lenders, particularly community banks. The Fed chair gave an upbeat assessment of the U.S. economy and signaled the central bank could raise short-term interest rates at its next policy meeting in March. U.S. stock markets, which have rallied to record highs since Trump's election, stalled as Yellen signaled a likely rate hike. The Fed chair said it was too early to say how Trump's plans to cut taxes and spur growth would affect the economy but warned that U.S. debt was already on an unsustainable trajectory. Yellen said that if, as the Fed expects, the jobs market continues to improve and inflation continues to rise, an increase in the benchmark federal funds rate would probably be appropriate at our upcoming meetings. Yellen told the Senate Banking Committee that waiting too long would be unwise and could trigger a recession if the Fed was forced to raise rates rapidly, disrupting financial markets. Senator Elizabeth Warren questioned Janet Yellen on Trump's claim that Dodd-Frank had been a disaster for banks. Senator Elizabeth Warren questioned Janet Yellen on Trump's claim that Dodd-Frank had been a disaster. Photograph, Joshua Roberts slash Reuters the Fed chairwoman painted a largely positive picture of the U.S. economy but warned that changes in fiscal policy or other economic policies could potentially affect the economic outlook. Of course, it is too early to know what policy changes will be put in place or how their economic effects will unfold. While it is not my intention to opine on specific tax or spending proposals, I would point to the importance of improving the pace of longer-run economic growth and raising American living standards with policies aimed at improving productivity. I would also hope that fiscal policy changes will be consistent with putting U.S. fiscal accounts on a sustainable trajectory, she said. The committee's questions displayed the split between Republicans and Democrats in the wake of Trump's victory. The Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown asked Yellen about Trump's plans to cut regulation by imposing a new rule that for every new regulation introduced, two must be cut. Does it make sense to remove two consumer protections for every new consumer protection? 
Other Democrats asked about the lack of diversity at the Fed and what the bank could do about the still disproportionately high rates of unemployment for African Americans and Native Americans. The Republican chairman, Mike Crapo, sought assurance that the Fed would not seek to marginalize a new Republican-appointed vice chairman of supervision. Other Republicans asked about the likely impact on growth of Trump's policies and argued that lending for small businesses had fallen thanks to regulatory overreach. Yellen's prepared remarks came at the start of her two-day testimony, known as Humphrey Hawkins for the 1978 law that first required it. She will appear before the House Financial Services Committee on Wednesday.